Musician, so it's like early, early. Like I was, you know, zero <laughs> coming out of the womb. There was jazz in my life, so it's always been there. It's always been, you know, something I've had with me. You know, it was around, but it wasn't really my thing. It was my dad's thing when I was younger until I was about 11, and I had a cousin that gave me a Lee Morgan mixtape, <laughs> and uh, that's when jazz became kind of my thing. Yeah, I think definitely like in any music, you need a passing of, uh, onto you. You know, it has to be kind of gifted to you. Someone takes you onto the journey, and then you find you find what you're looking for. I do think there's always been regional places that have their own sound and their own approach to jazz. But New York has always been the mecca. It's always been where everyone in the world kind of comes together to play jazz. Whenever you play outside, it's a different energy. I mean, it's like just like the fresh air, the, the way the sound bounces around. It's a different experience than when you're inside, you know, outside in the, in the, in the wild. <laughs> Absolutely, I love playing free festivals because it's it's like a pure version of it, you know what I mean? It's like anyone can come and everyone can come and we're all together and it's like you don't have that division of economics that happens at ticketed events. Spiritual jazz is an interesting one because I feel like all music is spiritual. When people say spiritual jazz, they're talking about a very particular style of jazz that kind of was popular in the 70s, which I love. I definitely see how that music was different in the fact that it was meant to be spiritual. It was meant to enact that side of people. Love you, peace.